This is Seymour Rocks reporting from Down Under. I just want to take a break uh, from uh, following uh, everything that's going down in America and the rest of the world at the moment, just to talk briefly um, about the Arctic ice. Um, so the other day I came across this uh, article in Fizz.org. Okay, so this is the article. So this is the article. Ice arches holding Arctic's last sea ice area in place are at risk, researcher says. So I just want to read just a few things from the uh, article. Uh, this very old sea ice is what we're concerned about. Um, the hope is that this area will persist into the middle part of the century or even longer, and then hopefully we'll be able to cool the planet down. The ice will start growing again, and this area can act as a sort of seed. Using satellite data, Moore has been studying ice arches that form along the narrow strait, a 40 kilometer wide, 600 kilometer long channel that runs between Greenland and Ellesmere Island from the ocean, Arctic Ocean into Baffin Bay. Moore had already observed warming, warning trends in earlier research that indicated that this ice is increasingly on the move. Quote, the last ice age is losing ice mass at twice the rate of the uh, entire Arctic, Moore says. We realize that this may not be as stable as people think. His most recent analysis of satellite uh, data says that the problem may be getting even worse. The arches along the narrow strait that historically have held the last ice age, last ice area, sorry, in place have become less stable. And um, he goes on to describe the mechanism of the ice arches. Um, So it says the ice arches form as the weather cools. Multiple ice flows converge as they funnel into the relatively narrow strait, forming huge structures that look like bridge supports turned on their sides. The arches span the full width of the passage, blocking the uh, movement of the multi-year ice from north to south. It's really quite profound to imagine a 100 kilometer long barrier of ice that remains stationary for months at a time. That's more than twice as long as Louisiana's Lake Pontchartrain Causeway, the world's longest continuous bridge over water, Moore says. It speaks to the strength of ice, but that strength is diminishing. Ice arches only form for part of the year and when they break up in the spring, ice moves freely down the narrow strait, and that breakup is happening sooner than in the past. Every year, the reduction in duration is about a week. They used to persist for about 200 days, and now they're persisting for about 150 days. That's quite a remarkable reduction. We think it's related to the fact that the ice is just thinner, and thinner ice is less stable. So that's the science. Uh, now, I listened to uh, Margot in her daily report yesterday. She alerted me to this and um, she is showing the signs of thinning or disappearance of ice uh, in the middle of the winter. So I just want to take a few uh, brief extracts from her report yesterday just to illustrate that point. Now we'll move on. Here's sea ice thickness in the Arctic for today and it's the extent is not not doing well. It's actually retreating 
and you're going to see that on the NOAA data, I mean NASA world view. <coughs> so it's just, it's trying to thicken up, but we've got reds over the Arctic as far as 2 meter temperature anomaly readings, and um, it's it's not it's not doing very well here it is on the 30 day animation and it we've got a retreat going on um here here and it's also melting all around Severnaya Zemlya. And this this thing, what's left of the multi-year ice or the thickest sea ice, is trying to thicken up and anchor in, but it's being pulled out from the ice drift and sliding down into the Beaufort Sea. And there was an article that just came out about the um, the um, ice arc arches. I'll post it. Um, just came out um, in the nearest strait, and how <coughs> this is this is melting and not holding in the thicker sea ice, and so this it's this area between Greenland and Ellesmere Island. So, he talked about the same things as what I'm showing in my research. And so, here's the Beaufort Sea view of the sea ice thickness. This is for today. <coughs> and, um, see, it's separated out. It's, it's not anchored in. It's it's moving and it's sliding down and you can see the movement there here's the 30 day animation and right at the end it's pulling away again see you can see the lavender come into view there so I'm very distraught with the sea ice on top of everything else Here it is, a week from now, we can see that um, that's pretty much no ice around there. It's just very light lavender, no ice around those coastlines there and here. <coughs> it's also pulled away from the coastline down here on Canada and Alaska and sliding sliding over so it'll be turned up by the Beaufort Sea here it is today so it's got a lot of movement see it's pulling out see the movement So a lot of shifting out away from the coastlines and then it'll be going into rotation. Here's NASA world view. Here's the sea ice concentration for today in the Arctic. And so we can see now what we want is white for it to be all concentrated but what we're seeing is the reds <coughs> and then the yellows and then the different colors coming down through the colors of the rainbow as it's either retreating or in the form of refreezing just depending on what it's been doing and see we're seeing areas oops see where it's melting up here this had been more solid 
more concentrated, but we've got reds and yellows. Um, let's see, this is coming apart here. And looking at Severinizemlia, this, okay, let's turn that off. See, the, it's going down into the blues. This is melting all around Severinizemlia. I will be very curious to see what the methane looks like when, when they finally re start releasing it from cams. And we can go back and match it up from my videos. This is the good part about, about um, documenting this, reporting this every day. And we can go back through NASA Worldview and compare with the days as they come out too. So it's melting. This had been more solid all around here. So it's melting here. Um, <coughs> it's melting here in the Kerasi and by Novaya Zemlia and up here north of Novaya Zemlia and it it's it's not coming back on this west side of Svalbard so let's go back let's go back to let's see where do you want to go back to and we'll see I'm, I'm going to focus in on just this area so we can really see it um, so this is where it's in that light pink zone on the 2 meter temperature anomaly this area right here let's go back to the first oh look see it's all nice and white but it's turning red down here here in this Fram Strait and so let's just go through here's the first Here's the second. See, it's starting to get red here by Severinizemlia. And see the yellow it's starting to break up down here. Here's the third. Fourth. Oh, it's really breaking up here now. Fifth. Look at that. And sixth. And look at all the reds now instead of it nice and white look at all the reds it's melting the whole surface is is melting because it's just not all white it's it's like this big heat dome or something see the difference from the fifth to the sixth it's dramatic look at the reds there and see it opens up. This kerosene is opening up again. It had been almost frozen all the way down. Let's do that again. Or let's go back through. See here's where it had been. Okay, here's the 31st. Now watch. Now see it's retreating in here and up here north of the island. Look at this retreat. Big retreat there. Ooh, that was a big one. Big melt there. And today too. So, something's going on. Something big is going on up here. And it's... The sea ice is not doing very well. In this context, I just want to um, point your attention to a video which has come out uh, from uh, Guy McPherson. Uh, I've been noticing just how, um, and I've talked about um, the lies of omission, and now there's this article, that uh, Guy actually makes quite a good job 
of talking about this so um, I will just leave a, um, a link in the description box below and here goes just a little teaser. And here's the take home line from Michael Mann. It's definitely the scientific consensus now that the warming stabilizes quickly within 10 years of emissions going to zero. An outright lie. A bald faced, outright, bold lie. It's definitely the scientific consensus now that warming stabilizes quickly within 10 years of emissions going to zero. So that's it. Um, I think Guy says it quite well. Um, and I just want to finish on this note. Uh, this is a GIF from the US Navy site that shows 12 months of sea ice thickness. And I'll just go right through it and then I'll just leave a little bit at the end uh, just to kind of show you uh, how, how it looked uh, a year ago. Okay, thank you. The Seymour Rocks reporting from Down Under.